How it's made, smartphones. Many things come to mind when we think of inventions that have swept the world. Of course, some say that microwave ovens are one of the greatest technological advances that have contributed to everyone's lives, while some say that it's cars, others say that it's televisions, and many more. Well, one of the greatest inventions of humans is none other than the internet. Yes, the internet is the most effective mass media communication and allows unlimited communication among many people. Today, almost every city on the planet has access to the internet. We start by checking every day for messages, likes, tweets, trends, news, memes and all sorts of information. But what has been contributing to the world advancements in this highly technological world? Let me answer this for you. It's smartphones. One of the things most people use without realizing that it has become a surprisingly important part of our lives is the smartphone. Smartphones offers a lot of comforts that you can operate anywhere, anytime. You can also use the endless section of built-in office tools, play games on the go, listen to an endless selection of music and TV shows and gamble a bit if you feel good. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel How It's Made. Before jumping into the video, if you are new here, please consider subscribing to our channel. Also hit the bell icon to get a notification whenever we upload a new video. That said, let's begin. An overview of smartphones. The development of smartphones has been made possible by several important technological advances. By exponentially scaling and miniaturizing MOSFETs, MOS transistors to the submicron level from the 1990s to the 2000s, predicted by Moore's law, it became possible to build portable smart devices such as smartphones from analog to analog. It is now possible to migrate to faster digital wireless and mobile networks, leading to Edholm's law. Other key realization factors include the lithium-ion battery, which was invented in the 1980s and commercialized in 1991, an essential energy source for long battery life and the mobile device ecosystem independent of data providers. That includes the development of more mature software platforms that allow you to develop. Many of us already know the fact that smartphones haven't existed for that long. It has only existed for a few years. A little known fact is the first use of the term smartphone was recorded in 1992. The first true smartphone was called the Simon Personal Communicator and was created by a company called IBM. To be precise, this is more than 15 years earlier than the first iPhone was released. As a result, it was easily created by the ability to mold a PDA, personal digital assistant, and a mobile phone into one goofy looking machine. The price at the time was $900, which now is the equivalent to $1,100. The craze for smartphones is never ending, and with the technological advancements, the demands have been rising like never before. To be precise, the use of a monochrome 4.5 by 1.4 inch LCD touchscreen on the stylus was far beyond the times, whereas Simon managed to sell over 50,000 units worldwide. Yes, you heard that right. In late 2005, when Android, a former camera operating system manufacturer, was acquired by Google and a new project for a new Linux-based operating system soon became Android, the world of smartphones changed even more dramatically. It started to grow. Moreover, OS in late 2007, along with the first iPhone released by Apple, the first official Android smartphone known as the T-Mobile G1 or HTC Dream was released. Not to hide the fact that both of these phones started with a large corporate competition and changed the world in ways no one could imagine. The only thing we hardly knew was that this device would be an important everyday gadget that everyone on the planet needs. That was an overview of smartphones, let's get straight to the point and see how smartphones are made and manufactured. To not miss out on any procedure of smartphone making, kindly stick with us until the end of the video. The making of smartphones. Indeed, not just you and I have been using smartphones for quite some time, but the entire world. However, have you ever wondered how smartphones are actually made as a whole? From the idea concept to the final product result, the journey climbs a steep mountain. Watch the entire video to understand the whole process. When a company decides to make a new model, they already have an old model and a lot of previous research, so they don't have to start from scratch. Of course, I assume we already know this matter for a fact, but if not, you're just on the right video. All they have to do is fine-tune the old model through the feedback of users or experts in this area, while at the same time inserting new trends and technologies. All the shortcomings of the previous model are dealt with, and new innovations inject technology into the latter model. Step 1. Making of Prototype Ideas are devised in the boardroom after considering various options. Confirmation is passed to the R&D lab. The research team starts with a prototype where aesthetics must be considered first and is not really working. The model is passed on to stakeholders who can comment on making changes as needed. After the appearance of the model is zeroed, the internal working kit of the handset is processed. Then the reins of the vehicle are handed over to the electronics team. Therefore, it is here that the processor in memory and other specifications of the handset are determined. Next, a matching display screen and the required battery potential are selected. Of course, don't miss the front and rear cameras. The device is then armed with the selected components and checked for operational performance. After this, if the decision team is reasonably happy with the work, the handset will be handed to the top for approval. Fact check. Most of the world's smartphone manufacturing today is being done in China. 
Step 2. Software installation. The software team will now intervene to bring mobile phones to life. This is basically predetermined by the operating system loaded on the phone. The hardware that the electronic team plays is most important to be compatible for the smooth functioning of the operating system. To be precise, many experts use their own methods to verify that the system is working as expected. The selected design loaded with hardware and software is ready for mass production. At this point, it is often difficult to go back and modify the already approved working prototype. Step 3. Testing Phase Before production begins, the handset is rigorously tested for quality, performance and other parameters. They have been tested from both a hardware and software perspective. We carry out various tests such as drop tests, bending tests and water quality tests to confirm their performance. Step 4. Mass Production when the final prototype is ready, it's time for mass production. Internal components can be manufactured in-house or outsourced. In most cases, this information on new models launched by the company has been leaked to the public, and this can be both useful or not. It is convenient because it promotes scheduled release mobile phones, and this is a drawback because it gives critics the opportunity to spot the flaws in models that haven't been produced yet and drop their ratings. Started mass production of quality pass models. This can be done at the manufacturer's own factory or outsourced to another manufacturer, also known as original equipment manufacturer, to manufacture according to the specified quality and standards. Smartphones are also assembled in this process. Foxconn is one of the leading manufacturers of devices on behalf of top companies such as Apple, Xiaomi, Nintendo and Amazon. There are large manufacturing plants in many countries, the largest is in Shenzhen, China. Besides, if you ever wish to learn how to assemble and disassemble your iPhone and other smartphones, you can simply fulfill your wish by attending a mobile phone repair training conducted by the authorized company or an institution. Fact check. During mass production, smartphones usually are codenamed to avoid the leak of information related to specification and design. Step 5. Packaging. If the handset passes all the tests, it will be sent to the packaging. The handset is placed in a ready-to-ship box with accessories and user manuals. Mobile phones arrive at the store in stylish boxes or packages. It is usually manufactured from low-quality recycled cards with inserts made of vacuum-formed high-density polystyrene. It is a popular card because it is cheap and can be recycled. In addition, colors and images can be applied using a variety of printing techniques. Cards are usually lacquered to give the box a glossy or satin finish. Usually, the package is in the shape of a rectangular parallelepiped. This means that the space can be used to easily and efficiently transport and stack on shelves. Step 6. Shipment The final stage of the entire process is shipping. These package phones are shipped to the distributors, suppliers and retailers around the world and it is the end customer who receives the mobile phone from these retailers. And that's it guys. Hopefully after watching this video you understand how smartphones are crafted from the making of prototypes to the shipment process. Let us know which smartphone is your favourite in the comments section below. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. See you in the next video.